Uh, hey guys, it's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, I need to make supper today. I need to make supper. And y'all know the price of beef and groceries has been going way up. So we found at Winn-Dixie a cut of meat called a shoulder roast, which we have never made before. Um, but it's probably gonna be kind of tough because you know if it's coming from the shoulder or the leg or whatever, that's something that's kind of tough. So what we are going to do is we're gonna put it in the smoker. Now, I, you know, you could do this in your oven or crock pot or whatever, I guess, but you know, this is what I'm going to do today. So we're gonna try, out, try it out and see if it is any good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some meat tenderizer. I'm gonna take some roasted garlic and some onion powder and I'm going to put it um, oh I'm gonna put some black pepper on it too I'm gonna put it in here and we are going to put it out there on that smoker covered for about three hours to start off with on about 300 degrees so let's do that all right so meat tenderizer Good bit on there. It's very salty, so I'm not going to add any salt. Roasted garlic. Onion powder. Throw some black pepper on there. All right, that's a good bit of stuff. Now, let's transfer it into a tin full. Right there. And let's make us Customize this thing for it a little bit more. And let's make us a little cover. I'll tell you what, we'll make that when we get out that when we get outside. Yeah, if it's a tough cut of meat, you need to cook it low and slow. So this is my I have a um, it's a pit boss whiskey barrel. Uh, they don't make these anymore. They they only made them for a short time. Uh, but it does pretty good. There's, you know, a few little drawbacks to it. But any kind of smoker that you got will work. Or like I said, you can always cook this inside. You don't have to have a smoker. But we really like, we've done uh, smoked uh, chuck roast before. And it was really, really good. So we're going to try this out. All right. It don't have to be totally sealed. But I want it at least covered pretty good. So... That'll probably do it right there. It'll get a little smoke in it. All right. Get it in there. Close it. And leave it alone. Yeah, man, as high as the price of, the price of beef and stuff is getting them. We'll really try whatever. It was on a quick sale. So 10 bucks and 70 cents. You can see there's not a whole lot of fat in it. Um, I mean, it's got some fat, but not a lot, not like a chuck roast. So we're just gonna see what turns out with this. I think it's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna leave that, that on it, like I said, for about a couple hours. Uh, yeah, probably an hour, a couple hours with the lid on. And then I'm gonna take that off, let that thing smoke and let that juice uh, and that fat and stuff render. Happy, you ready to let me in? You gonna let me in? Oh, you're just gonna go in. Okay, I'll see how that works. Okay, it has been a couple hours. So, let's see what we got going on here. On that cover. Yeah, we got some juice happening in there. I'm going to leave it in that juice. I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to try 
try to render it down, cook it down as much as I can. There's not a lot in there. I may um, have to keep an eye on this, checking it about an hour, and I may have to add some juice, add some water or something to let it cook down some. See how it plays out. What a nice day. Man, I should be out doing something. What I'm gonna do since there's not that much juice in it, I'm gonna throw that half stick of butter on there and let that help make sure that we have at least a little juice in there. It's not super hot, so it shouldn't just be burning it completely off, but that'll help with our uh, moisture. I'm concerned about the moisture since there's not just a ton of fat. Marcy, are you concerned? I don't think she's happy. You concerned? No? Soda? Got any concern for me? Y'all want to taste this butter? There you go. Now we're talking. Now we got a little concern. Okay, guys, it's been about four hours. Got plenty of these. And it's time for supper. So, this is coming out. I could cook it longer, and I'll show you when I get it out, but there's still plenty of juice in there. I mean, it could cook and cook and cook, but uh, we gotta get it out. So. You gonna let me in this time? No? They're very interested in beef ready let's look at it i've let it rest for five minutes got it in the house here this is a shoulder roast the beef shoulder roast we've never had it before it was ten dollars and 72 cents so i have no idea how tender or not tender it's going to be all right it looks like a chuck roast the meat looks like a chuck roast it's not like that point right there I thought that was fat. You can tear it apart with a fork. It looks fork tender. Yeah, it's not like super, super tender. Some parts of it are. Tammy some approved. parts of it aren't. It's Tammy approved. This is gonna be really great good. for a sandwich, and that's what we're gonna do with it. We're gonna make a sandwich. So you wanna try a piece I of it? Do. Tammy's gonna taste it. Now look, y'all. The reason he's cooking. The reason he's cooking instead of me is because I'm doing taxes. Mm -hmm. And Lord have mercy. Y'all are in trouble. It has just been hard. <laughs> and so I've been sitting and my neck sore and all yeah. that. And Chris is cooking for me. Yeah. So, so thanks for putting up with Chris. Mm -hmm. I sure do like, like this is my I channel. like to eat his cooking. This is all my right. channel. Let's Everybody taste this sucker. Likes to put up with me. He was like, you want me to put this outside on the smoker? And I was like, well, sure. Yeah, we've made chuck roast on a smoker before. It's really good. Cause y'all are not gonna believe what I did. Ah. Well, for heaven's sakes, you got a nice sear on the outside of it. Oh yeah. Let me just pull this apart. I mean, you gotta pull it apart. Okay. Like pulled pork, you gotta pull it. Well, I mean, it's tender in enough. It's falling to pieces yeah. on my fork. But it's it's pretty solid meat, you know. Mm-hmm. It's got a real good flavor. Though. It's good. I taught him to use the meat tenderizer. So it is chewing well. Chewing up easy, mm. okay? When you've got a cheap cut of meat, tastes delicious. When you've got a cheap cut of meat, it's nice to use meat tenderizer. Now I know a lot of y'all frown upon it, but there's another way you can tenderize your meat, and that's with vinegar, I believe. Um, so if you just really gotta have something natural, you can use vinegar. Hmm. Uh, but I personally would just rather sprinkle some meat tenderizer on there. And cook it for four hours. And it's delicious, y'all. Yeah. It's really, really good. And it's got that smoky flavor. So when he said, how about I put it on the smoker? I was thinking, heck yeah. Let's so, make a sandwich. Yeah. Lay's in there helping with taxes. She's our accountant. Yeah. Accountant Lay. All right, so we got some 
buns. And really, this would be easier to... What I need are those things that they use like to pull apart... Um, pull pork. Pork, yeah. Some of those... What do you call this? I don't know what you call them. But that's about the consistency of this. It looks good to me. It tastes good. It's very good. Chews up easy. Yeah. I'm surprised. I thought it'd be a little tougher. Yeah, it's it's more tender. It was it. a um a good price. Yeah, it was just I told them it was ten dollars for this big roast and seventy cents, and that's a good size. And roast. you know, it's got a lot of meat too. When you when you go to the store and you pick you out some oh, uh, good meat, day. make sure it's not all fat and gristle. Make sure you do get some meat. That's what happens with chuck roast. It's mostly and that really fat. didn't draw up all that much. You know no, how a chuck I mean, roast it's a good, it's a good worth. It's well worth its money. I'm glad we bought it. Me too. Put all some right. mayo on it. Good old blue plate. Yummy yum. That's what you use. That's what you use is blue plate mayonnaise. Unless you like Dukes, then it's okay to use that. But that's the only two it's okay to use. Unless you like some other kind. Then it's a Sunday roast, it's okay but instead for you. of it being a pot roast, it's a roast sandwich. Right, Chris? Look at that. Man, that's gonna be... Here, let's show it to them up close. Yummy yum. Mm. Mm. Mmm. Are you gonna end the video? <laughs> That's good. That's the way you make it. It's good. Just take your time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. I get to enjoy the benefits of my husband making my dinner. <laughs>